CompTIA A Plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 1.3. Given a scenario, set up and configure accessories and ports of mobile devices. Mobile Device Connections. Mobile devices may be great as a standalone computing device, but the true magic really happens when they reach out and connect with other devices and accessories. In this video, we will discuss some common wired and wireless connection types used by various mobile devices. Let's begin with USB or Universal Serial Bus Connections. USB is a wired peripheral device interface standard that allows for data transfer and device charging, and the ports come in several form factors. Some of the most common form factors for mobile devices include USB-C, micro-USB, and mini-USB. USB-C, known for its reversible design, is the latest and most versatile, allowing for faster data transfer and charging. As for the micro-USB and mini-USB, these are older but still prevalent. Another common wired connection type is the Lightning Connector. Lightning is a wired peripheral device interface standard that is exclusive to Apple devices and allows for data transfer and device charging. It's a sleek, small connector that can be used for various tasks, like transferring files from an Apple phone to a workstation. Such a task could be accomplished by simply plugging one end into your iPhone and the other into the USB port of your computer do so, and you will be ready to transmit data. Next, we have serial interfaces. These are a type of communication interface that transmits data sequentially, one bit at a time, over a single communication line. While they may seem primitive when compared to newer technologies, their role in networking is still important. They are primarily used to connect to the console ports of network devices like switches and routers, such console ports provide network administrators direct access to a device's operating system. By connecting a laptop to the console port of a network device with a serial cable, IT professionals can issue configuration commands directly to the device. Switching away from wired connection types, we will now cover a few wireless connection options used by mobile devices. And first up for the wireless category, we have Near Field Communication, or NFC. NFC is a wireless networking interface standard that uses radio frequencies to share data over a short distance of a few centimeters or inches. This short-range wireless connectivity enables various convenient functions like authentication and mobile payments. For example, by simply tapping your device to a reader, you can authenticate access or complete purchases quickly and securely. Now we have Bluetooth, a wireless networking interface and peripheral device interface standard that uses radio frequencies to share data over a short distance of a few meters or yards. This technology allows mobile devices to effortlessly connect with peripherals such as wireless headphones, portable speakers, and keyboards. Eliminating the need for cables, Bluetooth enables a clutter-free, hands-free experience. Additionally, it supports various functions like file sharing, audio streaming, and voice commands, which serves to amplify the capabilities of connected devices, creating a cohesive and more productive personal tech environment. And for our last mobile device connection method, we have Hotspot. Hotspot is a game changer transforming your mobile device into a wireless access point. Other devices can connect to the internet through your mobile device's data connection, offering a lifeline when traditional Wi-Fi networks are out of reach. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.